I've been watching Van Damme movies my whole life, and somehow I've never seen Double Impact. <laughs> what kind of Van Damme fan hasn't seen Double Impact? So in this movie, it's exactly kind of what you expect. There's twins separated at birth, one is rough, one is pretty, and they team up to avenge their parents' death. In that, you get all the cheese, all the corn, all the action, all the stuff you expect from an early 90s martial arts film with Van Damme, you get it in this movie. So really, it's a movie that delivers what it promises, but if you don't like this kind of movie, it's not going to convince you of anything. As for the good, this movie knows exactly what it is. It's a cheesy movie, it's a corny movie, and it's loaded with action. Like the first shot of Van Damme in the movie is him wearing spandex head to toe, doing the splits with the camera zoomed in, not on his face, but on his butt. And there's a bunch of ladies like, ooh, like ogling him. That's the movie you're in for. The last shot of the movie is him like, right at the camera, giving it a thumbs up. Like this is a movie where the main bad guy has three different henchmen. Number one, it's a guy with spurs that kicks people in the throat to slit their throat. Number two, a bodybuilder woman. Number three, Chong Lee from Bloodsport out for revenge against Van Damme. And <laughs> It's a Van Damme film. We should be talking about the action. This movie's got visceral action with debris falling, blood spurting out of chest. This is what you want. There's a guy with spurs that kicks people in the throat and blood sprays out. It's a Van Damme film. That is what you want. That is what you get. It's nonstop action. There's dumb reasons for action. There's good reasons for action. And it's what you get in an early 90s martial arts film starring Van Damme. It's what you want. What are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, the action's not that good. I mean, it's enjoyable, it's very standard Van Damme of that era, but it's not the best Van Damme of that era. There's a lot of stuff where there's close-up shots during fight scenes, so you can't see what's going on, you're not really seeing the action going on. It's good, it's not the best Van Damme had to offer at the time. And beyond that, in the bad category, you got a lot of stuff where the production value just comes shining through. So, like, the uh, best friend of the family, he's driving a car in the intro scene, and it's like any sitcom you've seen, just terrible, rear projection with a guy driving the wheel like this in the background not matching what he's doing. There's a scene where he like turns the car and he's in a convertible so you can see his hair and this guy who has like dark hair when it's close up suddenly has like white hair when they're turning. Where you really notice this is when it comes to the doubling effects. They're just off. What are you talking about? They were perfectly in sync. Well, I mean, what I'm talking about is like, that I one's they were talking and then the other one starts talking a little bit too late. Like, they're just they were making off. perfect eye contact. I mean, you gotta admit, like, they're trying to make eye contact and look at each other, and they're just staring at the wrong places. It's, it doesn't sync up right. Kind of like it was cheaply done in someone's bedroom with a green screen. In summary, I don't know what we're talking about. This movie is an 8 out of 10. If you like Van Damme, you will like this movie. It's quintessential early 90s Van Damme. If you don't like Van Damme, you won't like this movie. And why are you watching this review? If you like him, it's got what you want. But there are better Van Damme films. This is just a very solid early 90s Van Damme vehicle. All the cheese, all the goofiness, all of the gratuitous splits and spandex that you want from a Van Damme movie. For me, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's good. It's enjoyable. It aims for a single and it gets it. It knows what it is. It tries only to be what it is. It doesn't aim to be a home run, a double, a triple. It aims for a single, simple action movie. You get that out of it. You don't get much bored. There's some pretty low production value here. And if I'm being honest, if I'm going to pick a Van Damme mm -hmm. movie to watch from the early 90s, I'm probably going to pick Lionheart. I'm going to pick Kickbox. I'm going to pick Bloodsport. Probably not going to go with this one as much as those other ones. Gah! I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you in the comment section. Tell me, what do you think about Double Impact? Is it awful or is it awfully good? Is the cheese too much or is it what makes it perfect and an amazing piece of 90s? With that, if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button if you like what I'm talking about. You can look at some of these other videos. I've talked a lot about Van Damme. I like Van Damme. I like Star Trek. I like movies and TV. I want to talk about them. Thank you much for watching. Talk to you later.